Hello everyone, welcome to Selling Juice and it's me Selena with you all. Today's video is more about stroke which is very common nowadays and this video is really upon a request that is the basic things about the stroke. I have an expert joining with me to tell more about the stroke. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to watch more videos on health related aspects. Hello everyone, to know something about stroke is very important because stroke is very common nowadays. I have an expert with me that is Dr. Harsha Bhatia. She's a neurologist and I love to hear from her about it and you too will love that. Thank you Dr. Harsha for being with me to tell more about stroke to the public. Thank you Selena for inviting me for delivering this. It's like, Can you just explain in a simple way what is exactly stroke? Everybody common layman person is aware of it. What is heart attack? You know, not many people are aware what is brain attack. So brain attack is just a mimic what happens in the heart. It happens in the brain. So brain attack means or a stroke means when a portion of the brain does not get a proper blood supply or it loses its oxygenation and nutrition. So in in like for the general people, when a, when the brain does not get a proper blood supply, it's, it thrives for the nutrition. That is a stroke. Okay, you well explained that. So, as you explained uh, that the stroke is because of lack of blood supply. So, what is the cause for this? Why the brain is not getting the proper blood supply? Okay. There are two types, like if we classify the stroke, uh, it can be classified into two types. One is ischemia and one is hemorrhagic stroke. So, what does ischemia mean? Uh, ischemia means when the portion of the blood, uh, brain does not get the proper blood supply. Now, suppose this is an artery. Now, if the artery na gradually gets narrowed, narrowed, narrowed and the portion to the which it's supplying does not get the blood supply. So, that is called ischemia. The second type of the stroke is hemorrhagic stroke which is present in around 20% of the cases. The ischemic stroke is more common than the hemorrhagic stroke. So, hemorrhage means like this is the blood vessel and it ruptures. So, there is a blood all around the portion you know and that portion of the brain stops functioning because it is not getting any supply nutrient supply or oxygenation supply so in technical terms we divide stroke into two types ischemic stroke as well as hemorrhagic stroke okay, okay. thank you for that we all know that the brain is controlling the whole part of our body but people especially the layman can't distinguish the signs and symptoms of stroke from other symptoms so can you just briefly tell okay. about it anything which will happen very suddenly so it's sudden onset the it is like something which happens in minutes or uh, seconds like that one so you mean the patient will be very normal and all of a sudden it happens yeah. okay so there are few things which we have to take into account like if you have sudden severe headache like the worst headache of your life then don't sit at home, just immediately rush to the hospital. Then you have sudden weakness or numbness on one half of the body. Like you develop, you are, not, you are writing something and you are not unable to hold the pen or you feel that this hand is some, suddenly become numb. Okay. Or if you have vis problems with vision, you know, suddenly you feel that the, this half of the vision is cut off. I cannot see this half of the vision or there is blurring of vision or total loss of vision in one eye. So this can be because of the poor blood supply to the brain or you feel feel that you have suddenly developed difficulty in walking or difficulty in like balancing or you feel that you have suddenly started seeing double vision like that one or the last thing is when you have difficulty in speaking or if I am speaking you are not able to understand what I am speaking or your speech has suddenly changed we call it as like somebody is like drunk and then he's speaking like that so there is a mnemonic for that one to remember for all the common people it's called be fast be, be fast, fast. Okay. or in simple terms you can remember only fast also so i'll just try to explain what is be fast b means balance when you when you feel that there is suddenly loss of balance or e stays for like if says for loss of vision or you have some blurring of vision or you have feel cut off vision something related to eye okay. yes and then F means you have like face with the face is drooping to one side. The, there is an asymmetry of the face. Suppose if you see maybe you know what happens like uh, if I develop stroke I might not be able to know that uh, this, uh, this side of my face is weak. But if you notice that in, in some of your relative or your friends that the face is drooping to one side when he is smiling or when he is eating then definitely this is a sign of stroke. So we were on the fast you know so F stands for face. 
A stands for arm. Suppose if you keep your hand like this and the patient's arm start drooping like this. So that means that he is developing weakness or if the, uh, the arm goes and turns like this. This is a normal one and it suddenly if the arm turns to one side like we call it as pronation. Then, uh, then this can also be a sign of weakness. So that allowing the muscle strength there. True. And then the last one is the speech one. So face, arm and speech. And then we have the last T which we call it as time. Because time is brain. You know. So the moment you feel all these signs are coming up, just don't wait. Just call ambulance. So uh, as we understand now what are the symptoms we have known. It's also very important that we should make them to reach the hospital without loss of even a single minute. True. Why we are telling that if it's delayed, what is the complication for the patient? Okay. You know, somebody said first the time is money and then something came time is heart. Now we really say time is brain because more it's, you know, earlier we salvaged the portion of the brain, the more the functional will be, will be the person. Suppose, you know, it was the olden times when we used to say, okay, patient has got stroke, give this one and then go, we used to go away. That is really criminal offense these days. The moment we recognize that this is a stroke, rush, rush to the hospital. Within 4.5 hours, we have an injection which can be given to lyse the clot. So we call these things as clot blaster. So you suppose if you reach to emergency, we found that this is a ischemic stroke. We know that this, the blood vessel is already blocked. Now we have to remove that clot which has uh, caused the blockage of the blood vessel. So those clot blusters or thrombolytic agents we call them can be given within 4.4 uh, 4.5 hours of your reaching to the hospital. So once suppose the blood vessels we lyse the clot and the blood vessel is now open again. So the brain will re regain its function very fast. So that is why we say time is brain. Do not waste your time. So in that case, patient will be recovered with less, uh, less deficit or, or maybe he will recover completely, you know. Okay. Yeah, we have seen lot of patients recovering 100%, you know, when the, if it is given properly in time. Now, from your words, like I can realize that it's also a kind of lifestyle disease compared yeah. to like other conditions. Mainly it's common nowadays because of our lifestyle. So what is your suggestions to the public that they should be alert to avoid this attack? So we can divide these risk factors as modifiable and non-modifiable. So non-modifiable means like age, sex, ethnicity, like that one, which probably we cannot change us. Yeah, it's not in uh, yeah, our control. Not in our control. The modifiable risk factors being hypertension, uh, diabetes which can contribute twice as the common causes of ischemic stroke then is poor physical activity like when we are sitting uh, now there's a new thing term called sitting is new smoking you know it is as dangerous as smoking you know yeah then uh, obesity then is smoking then if you are taking alcohol in pretty low good amount of uh, good amount and uh, uh, high dyslipidemia we say high cholesterol okay. so these are few uh, few of the common commonly treatable and commonly uh, you know modifiable modifiable risk factors for the stroke so you know 80 percent of the strokes are preventable we can easily prevent the stroke really good news yeah. to know so, so can we just know about briefly not in very detail about the treatment as you already told we are using a thrombolytic agent which will crush out the clot in the blood vessel so what are the other treatments for is it okay. symptoms Dramatic treatment yeah see uh, now we will divide it into two parts like ischemic stroke and the hemorrhagic stroke the treatment for both of them differs a lot okay so for the ischemic stroke as I said within first four to four, four, four point five hours we can use this clot uh, clot blaster we have what we call as thrombolytic agent now suppose if the patient reaches beyond four point five hours of their duration you know then also we can still help him like we go for an imaging and if we find that the blood we can still you know help him by reperfusing his blood vessels then we go uh, go ahead with mechanical thrombectomy like with the help of a uh, striever or the stent striever we try to remove the clot okay, we usually do it with uh, angiography and angioplasty ah, so okay. so that is like we can remove we can remove the clot and then the blood flow is uh, you know we try to reperfuse the brain okay. okay so that can be done within six hours to 24 hours of the brain but it all depends upon how much he has that uh, you know how much the penumbra is there to survive that area of the brain mm -hmm. so beyond that if the patient comes then probably we cannot offer him these two therapies then we have to give him little antiplatelet drugs which probably he has to continue it for longer period of time 
and meanwhile we go ahead with uh, finding out the reason for why did he develop stroke so that is the second step of the treatment the first step is like first just treat it then second is try to find out what was the reason for the stroke and then the further treatment depends upon what uh, to treat the underlying cause for the stroke I think we discussed most of the part of the things talk that basic person should know. Uh, so, what is the takeaway message from this? You know, brain attack is as severe as a heart attack. Please do not take it lightly. Time is brain. Just try to identify stroke by remembering the mnemonic fast or be fast. Do not waste your time or rush to any nearby hospital so that they can arrange your transfer to a stroke unit. Take care of your health, especially physical health is very important. Do regular exercise at least 30 minutes per day, okay, or at least five times in a week. Eat healthy food, go for more of a whole grain fruit, nuts, olive oil. Do not go for like fatty foods and cut down your smoking or if it is possible, stop your smoking. Take minimum amount of alcohol and take care of your other risk factors. Time is brain. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Dr. Thank Harsha. So, it was great to talk with you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Selena. You're doing a great job by spreading the awareness. Thank it's you. A, it's a great thing, you know. So, as you all know that our health is our wealth. So, we all will take care of this and also absorb the very important messages that shared today in this video. Signing off, Selena. Bye-bye.